This is Gali and welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Your Dragon. This time we're going to make uh, the different head angles of a dragon by suggestion. And we already made heads, we already drew them. But we're going to draw the different angles in the most detailed way so you can have more reference to grab from. And we're going to start making a simple circle. And the circle is horrible, ignore that circle. We're going to make a new one. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, just just so you know. Like this. Uh, yeah, good. Good, this is okay. And, okay, now that you have your circle, or your sphere, which is going to work as the, the head, the normal head of your animal, we're gonna do something here. We're gonna copy it again and again. And let's put this here. And then here and then here traditional you can grab many pages or in a single page and draw a lot of heads that's also how it works so we're gonna have four heads and then four more probably gonna move this one here and then here and here and here yeah grab eight different circles and then just put them all together or whatever you want to do I'm going to make them all Put them all in the center. Kind of here. Okay. Ooh, now we got our head. Now, grab a different color, probably darker. Or, I don't know, purple? Yay, purple. Uh, first, we're going to do uh, the, the head facing the side. And you see, I put a cross hatch on this, right? Like, it's like this. But. We're not gonna use a cross hatch in every single one because this indicates that the dragon has both eyes here. Right? So, yeah. I just copied my circle. But you can ignore the cross hatch, please. Probably just ignore it for the time being. Okay, enough. Now we're going to draw the head. For the first time, we just need to follow this line because it's a sideways line. There are many different designs on dragons, but I'm just gonna do one. And our dragon will probably look like this. Like Not many details right now, because we want to focus on the direction. So for example, we're just gonna make a simple dragon, okay? Focus on simplicity. So imagine he has his head like this, and his little neck. Okay, this is the only thing we're gonna focus on. It's a simple dragon. If you want to have reference on how to draw horns, you can add some little sparkly horns. Ta -da! Okay, very simple design, but this is for learning purposes. So now that you have your first one, you see he's facing this way. The second one will probably be facing this way. So now you use this cross hatch, and the use I give this cross hatch is to draw the figure, the snout, in the middle. Like it will start probably here. Grab a figurine, a 3D figurine if you have one, of any animal or a dragon if you have them, and try to copy it. What I'm gonna do is, um, well, now that you see that the dragon is carnivore, as I said in the eyes video, he has both eyes on the front. He had his mouth open, it would go like this. Don't just copy, please grab reference. And yes, he's sketchy, but that's that's the point. Now you see this line is this line, so you're just going to copy what you did in the other drawing. And the horns, you can imagine them as cones with the base here. And his neck. Okay. So what do I do? What I do is I grab a figurine and I start turning it around, trying to analyze the angles of the head to see if I got them right. And I'm going to turn the light in here. Wait a second, there you go. Okay, so we have our little figurine. If you have one, if you don't, Google it. It's helpful, but I prefer to grab a real physical thing because it's easier to copy. 
So you want to add ears to your character, you can add ears to your character. Okay, so we have this. Now, we're gonna do the front view. Now, for the front view, our cross hatch would be like this. And the same. I'm going to do a small tip, uh, probably here. Okay. Sphere. Snout. Horns. Spikes. What do you see here? Circle. Cone. And a, a kind of rectangle, right? Yeah? Okay. Well, that's the basics. So if you want to have a, a dragon head, just try to copy that in your own way. Of course, the snout shape is always different in many different dragons. And, for example, in the front, the eyes will look really close to the snout because of the perspective. So you would have like the eyes here. Yeah. And the ears would go here. Ta -da. It's fun to make dragons. We have the head. Yay! He's facing this way. Or, or the front way, technically. Good. Now, we're going to draw this in the other side, which is pretty much the same thing, but okay. So we're just going to skip that. This is facing this way. I have a tip for you. Maybe you already know that tip. It's a fun one. Just select it. Copy it, paste it, and flip it. With, I don't know, it's edit. Uh, transform, flip horizontal, la cheating, woohoo for cheating. Okay, <laughs> yes, that's not cheating. That's just like repeating it. We're just making it in a different angle. So <laughs> take that little face. I don't know. Now <laughs> instead of cheating again, we can just make our dragon look somewhere else. So he could be looking downwards, for example. He's looking this way and not just sideways. Ta -da. So after looking that way, he's going to turn that way. And you probably want to have like your dragon looking this way. So. Again, the figurine reference, guys, it's the best thing you can use. So. Cannot, well, you can probably just see a little bit of his eyes like that, and now he's looking forward. So, when you have your head, it would be connected to the neck. So, go Google necks of animals people next in this thing will look a little strange. It's now looking that way. And now it's gonna turn. Ta-da! So it's not really that complicated. It's just like a matter of keeping in mind that you have a sphere that will guide you. And how the neck turns, ta -da, and everything. Those things, right? Okay, now we have the sideways view, the backwards view, the front view, the side view, the three quarters view. This is a three quarters. 
Okay. So that's just a basic one. You can pause the video right here to grab this, because we're gonna make different angles now. So you can finally destroy this too. Boo. Okay, and just make a new layer. I'm gonna draw on top. Ta -da -da. So the same sphere applies. This, the issue with this is that it has to be symmetrical. And it's a little difficult to get it symmetrical. If you draw on anything that has to do symmetry, you will understand why we suffer so much. It's hard to make things symmetrical. So this is bigger on top because you can see it from the front. But wait, let me see. I think I made a mistake. Wait a second. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, got it. So it will probably look something like this from the top. Sorry, but we're a little learning here. So the neck, mm, well, it might be seen, but it will be in perspective. So that means it will look shorter and then a little bigger as it connects with the chest. But, well, I think we will erase the neck for now. So you can focus on the top view of the head. Again, grab your little sculpture and reference. Now, that's from the top view. And the bottom view Have some reptile references and see how their little um, well, necks connect. That's the. Ooh, my handwriting sucks. Ta da! Okay, top, bottom. What else? I don't think there's anything else. Unless you really want to, like, you can flip this around, like, over there, and it will still be the same thing. So, ta-da! We just covered the head angles. And I really hope you liked this video because I had fun making it. If you really liked it, please subscribe. There's more to come every week. And if you want to leave suggestions, they're welcome. We're already working on different videos related to the references and the recommendations I've gotten so far. So the next one will probably be arms or mm, what else? What else can we do, guys? I don't know. Just leave that in the comments if you're interested. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.